So it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker this afternoon, Professor Yun Yu Choi from Postec in Korea. And the title is on the board. If you can read it from here, yes, I can. Double Hacker L series. Thank you very much, Winfried. Uh, I'd like to thank the organizer for a kind invitation. I feel very honored to be here to celebrate uh, 60th birthday of uh, Professor Ramanuti. Congratulations and uh, 10, 100 years more. Looking forward. Okay, so the, I'm from Pose. All right. So let's recall our Riemann zeta function. So Euler evaluated, uh, uh, get the value of Riemann zeta function at every positive integral point has this uh, expression in terms of Bernoulli number. Then Riemann studied this uh, uh, value in terms of uh, complex uh, variable function, which converges when real part s bigger than one, and the real, uh, it has a meromorphic continuation to all s with just simple pole at s equal one. And it has a beautiful functional equation, namely uh, with the gamma factor, it's, uh, it, it is symmetric uh, from 1 minus s to s. Uh, so we have a symmetrical functional equation. Then, uh, we also studied mainly double zeta values, uh, which has this kind of pattern. Turns out that this is the summing over p to the n, q to the n, where p is greater than equal to, actually strictly greater than uh, q, which can be written as uh, zeta of mn plus zeta of m plus n. So this is a single zeta, or, or original Riemann zeta, this is a double zeta. In general, the multiple zeta values are real numbers defined by for a, a, any index k1, k2, up to kn. These are all positive integer uh, where k1 is bigger than 1. Uh, the zeta of k1 to kn, this is nth multiple zeta, zeta value, is uh, defined as a uh, multiple sum, where m1 is strictly bigger than m2, strictly m2 is strictly bigger than m3, so on. So this is also some number, very given number, and uh, this uh, numbers turns out it's or, uh, it originally defined by Euler, but uh, it occurs in many different places such as mathematical physics and uh, uh, mathematics and uh, any other field. So the, after around the 1990, there are big progress about uh, studying this uh, multiple zeta value. Namely, for example, I just uh, listed a few of them namely zeta of 2 to 2 to here n is uh, uh, this two, 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 uh, n tuples uh, evaluated at 2 can be written as uh, explicitly this way pi to the 2n over 2n uh, plus 1 factorial some gamma factor and uh, zeta of 3, 1, 3, 1 repeatedly how many times? So, so total length is 2n here. Also can be written in terms of uh, uh, pi power and the uh, gamma function. And uh, this was computed by these people. 
And so they are, so expressed evaluation, many expressed evaluation with their coming in. Also many, many variations among multiple jetta value and the single jetta value, namely double jetta, two one is uh, jetta of three. And uh, there are relations uh, among the double jetta and the single Riemann jetta function. This was done by Euler, and uh, the recently these people have uh, another relation very simple. So this is an extension of uh, Euler's formula in terms of uh, Riemann jetta function. So there are many more. So in general, this multiple jetta value of given weight, so k equal, you fix the weight, k1 to kn, satisfy many linear relations over q, and uh, if we put zk as the q vector space spent by all multiple zeta value of weight k, and if you look at the, this polynomial, 1 over 1 minus x squared minus x cubed, then you expect, expand it in, uh, with respect to x. Then you get this coefficient. Huh? So uh, there is a conjecture. Uh, the dimension of this uh, zk of a k multiple z zeta value is the same as uh, this number dk. So this is conjecture, and uh, I believe this is far from improving. And it's in the study low bound of uh, dimension of zk so far. OK. So the, now I'd like to discuss, instead of value, uh, I'd like to discuss uh, uh, this multiple zeta function um, uh, in term, with respect to two complex variables. For example, it's, OK, this can be extended for general multiple zeta function, but uh, today I will focus on double zeta. So the double zeta function is defined as uh, uh, this sum. So the m1 is m plus n, so that m1 is strictly bigger than m2. So it's just like before, instead of variable, instead of k1, k2, I put the complex variable as a function. Then it's known that this converges absolutely when real part of S1, S2 bigger than 2, and the real part of S1 bigger than 2, bigger than 1. Also, it can be continued to metamorphically to the whole com uh, double complex plane. Question is, uh, are there functional equations with respect to two variables, S1 and S2, like Riemann zeta function? So in order to answer such a question, we look at the Hurut zeta function. Namely, we fix alpha. Uh, alpha can be complex, but uh, today I will still run real variable. So real, so alpha is real positive, then you will get this sum. So this is Hurut zeta function. We know that this converts absolutely for real part s bigger than 1 and uh, can be extended to a meromorphic function to whole s plane except to x equal 1, it has a pole. And uh, this is non-functional equation. So uh, this Hurwitz uh, data function satisfy this type of functional equation, so it's not uh, symmetric like uh, Riemann zeta function, but uh, one can write uh, 
uh, this JTAB or SIPA in terms of uh, uh, large JTAB function. So this uh, people call uh, it's a functional equation for which data function. And if you introduce one more parameter over here in terms of exponential character, you can kind of symmetrize that thing, but, uh, but uh, this is the best possible uh, uh, formula at the moment uh, for the full z function. So the, if we regard our multiple zeta function as a double version of a huge zeta function, we don't expect that the double zeta function has a symmetric form as a functional equation. So, so again, problem is this is a double zeta function and we are looking for functional equation for this. Then about uh, 10 years ago, Matsumoto studied uh, this functional equation. And uh, this is the, so we have uh, multiple the double zeta function equal it's a zeta one Riemann zeta function plus something like uh, uh, something similar to which zeta function f plus and f minus, where f plus or minus is defined as a sum of uh, confluent hypergeometric function defined as uh, like this integral, and uh, we are summing over the k here. This is divisor sum. So you can derive this uh, uh, functional equation for double zeta function. But what is, uh, what is this f of s1, s2? So uh, the, the, if you look at the asymptotic expansion of uh, uh, this confluent uh, hypergeometric function, then it has a uh, main term as like this and the error term. So the main term for j equal zero, main term is bounded by x to the uh, this a, a power. Therefore, this f plus minus s1, s2, which is defined as a summing of a sigma s1, s2 minus 1k, psi of this, this form, then this is uh, x, this is power. So this behave, asymptotically behave something like uh, k to the s, so it's like, uh, again, infinite sum. So you represent uh, finally, we represent double uh, zeta as uh, the following. So this was a hood. let's make some comparison. So this was the functional equation for hood zeta function, where this is related to the large zeta function. And this is double zeta function, which has a sum of one degree more than Riemann zeta function plus f, f plus and f minus, which is also uh, trickle, kind of trickle series. So the phi plays role as a f in, in, in this uh, situation. 
So this was proved by Majimoto. Okay. So from now on, though, I'd like to explain double Hecke series. And this is joint work with Majimoto. And uh, it's uh, I'd like to report uh, preliminary version. So here is uh, the setup. So we fix uh, k. It doesn't have to be integral, but at the moment, let's fix k is integral, positive integer. And we, we consider a sequence of numbers, a n, which is bounded by n to the k minus 1 over 2 plus epsilon, when epsilon can be any positive number. Then we assume that the decrease is coming from this AM converge absolutely in the region when real part S is bigger than K plus 1 over 2 and can be continued metamorphically to the whole complex plane here in S except uh, possible uh, poles, finite main poles. So if you are familiar with the model form theory, this is kind of a gross condition for the Fourier coefficient of cost, but we don't assume A is coming from, A is coming from Fourier coefficient of the cost form. Then we define this kind of uh, series L2, S1, S2 is defined as M to the S1, M to the S, and M to the S2. So this is when AN equal 1 for every N, this was a, a double zeta function. Oops. I think, okay. So then we have the following result. Then this double zeta, the, 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 so I call this uh, L2, S1, S2 as a Hecke, double Hecke L function. So L2, S1, S2 combos absolutely in the region when real part S bigger than K plus 1 over 2 and the real part S1 plus S2 is bigger than K plus 3 over 2 and uh, it, uh, it uh, continues metamorphically to the whole uh, S1, S2 play. And this is the functional equation. So the uh, 1 over gamma 1 minus S2 times uh, this uh, double Hecke L function equal, we have, uh, this is uh, multiple, uh, it's a single take series except gamma factor plus uh, something like uh, uh, Dirichlet series, so F1, F plus, F minus. So this is the, uh, the functional equation we get, where F plus minus is defined as also summing of the confluent uh, hypergeometric function times uh, some coefficient coming from this an. So when an equal 1 for every n, which was uh, double zeta, this is uh, nothing but the divisor sum, this uh, a 
as 1 plus S2 minus 1 is divided sum, so we go back to uh, much more the original functional equation for the double zeta function. And uh, we can prove that uh, this, uh, this series also can be continued metamorphically to the whole plane and we could identify all the singularities of f plus minus. So here AM is uh, just uh, some sequence which has a certain growth bound for M with respect to K and uh, we assume the metamorphic continuation for the single L function. So it's, uh, there is no connection with this AN and uh, many automorphic form. But if we assume if we assume AN is coming from Fourier coefficient of some cost form on gamma zero N, then we can derive another functional equation by using transformation formula for uh, AFN. We get still it's not symmetric but uh, we have uh, uh, this kind of uh, functional equation. So the, suppose uh, f of tau has uh, this type of further expansion, uh, which is cos form of the k on gamma zero n. Then we take uh, this involution, free involution, Suppose uh, this has a uh, Fourier expansion of uh, F slash uh, WN. So we have A tilde, M is coming from F slash uh, this uh, WN. Then uh, this A function, heck A function, up to gamma factor and this trivial 2 pi factor can be written as uh, also the uh, first order L function. This is uh, original Hecke L function plus uh, another infinite series type L series, then H plus 2n and the H minus 2n, where H is uh, now it's a, a double L function. So you write this uh, psi is a hypergeom confluent hy still confluent hypergeometric function times uh, this type of L function a n tilde coming from F slash WN and uh, this involution of F and this is uh, replaced by uh, uh, the term of the sigma function in the double zeta case. So this is the formula we got. Okay, so let me just briefly mention how one can prove this. So the, we have, in this case, we have integral representation. And the second thing is we have to separate uh, some variable in order to avoid singularity. Then we use heavy analysis. Then we have to do some counter integral. 
then again we have to use uh, functional equation for uh, confirm to hypergeometric series. So this is the one of the main ingredient uh, we have. So again, this uh, our this is a cost form. It's just a general function whose uh, Fourier coefficient uh, an has uh, this uh, growth, something like uh, cost form growth. Then we look at this uh, double integral. This converge, this is well defined uh, double integral. And uh, we realize this uh, converge when real part S1 bigger than zero, real part S2 bigger than k plus one over two, real part S1 plus S2 is bigger than k plus three over two. So in this region, this series converts, and it turns out that this integral is really give us the, this double Hecker series except this common factor. As uh, we, we, we see in the, uh, so this is kind of moment transform of this uh, f of iy integral of this uh, exponential term. Moment transform of this will give us this double jet function. Then with this integral expression, we split uh, separate uh, uh, contribution of the singularity, namely, we separate this part into 1 over e to the 2 pi x minus 1 minus, it has singularity at x equals 0, so we separate variable, then we try to compute to each piece. Then, the, so, so we have a main term, and uh, this error term, this is easy to compute. Uh, we can use uh, some kind of gamma uh, function formula, then I2 can be computed uh, uh, easily so that this I2, this part will give you uh, first order Heckel function. So this is the main term. So the, to compute uh, the main term, one has to choose uh, contour properly so that uh, we can handle this uh, uh, integral. So we use uh, some, uh, some uh, horizontal contour to evaluate uh, first main term. Then, last thing, we have to use uh, the functional equation for the, so we, it turns out that uh, we have, uh, if we compute the main term, we have this confluent hypergeometric function, then we use uh, functional equation for the uh, hypergeometric function to derive uh, the main term. So this uh, functional equation will only coming from uh, uh, hypergeometric function, confluent hypergeometric function. And uh, if we uh, polish using uh, very nice convergence. So when if uh, when f of tau is a cost form, we get a different uh, functional equation, which I showed you before. So this is the uh, main term uh, can be uh, written in terms of uh, L, the high double series of. Uh, hypergeometric functions. 
to so this was the brief sketch and uh, uh, so for this uh, thing we are looking for some algebraic uh, value if uh, like uh, Riemann, double Riemann zeta value we are looking for algebraic value we have some progress maybe 70th birthday of then the I can report this <laughs> and uh, 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 so I will finish early. Happy birthday. <laughs>